Hi, here's a summary of the woodworking bench I've made for under £20. Initially I'll build this basic workbench using wood from pallets and four countertop bolts. Use a plug cutter to remove pallet boards easily. As far as I know I came up with this method and it's really good. The resulting holes are easily plugged later. Sand to remove any dirt before cutting to rough length. Get rid of any grit which might damage your blades. Then plane flat and square all round which will make the joinery a lot easier. Create a shallow mortise in each leg for the front and back rails by notching four boards before sandwiching them together. As you can see here the mortise is formed as the legs are built up. Glue the legs together. I've ganged them up here for ease of gluing and ease of clamping. Remove all the excess glue and square up again. Mark out for the front and back rail tenons and cut them to fit. Now I'm marking out for the countertop bolts before drilling those to fit as well. Just cutting a mortise to recess the flange washer that goes on there. As you see they go in very easily and you just need a spanner to do them up. Mark out for the side joints before cutting. Double tenon for the side rails and it's a bridle joint at the top. I drilled some of these and chopped some from scratch as well. In chamfer the bottom of the legs to avoid any splits as the bench is dragged around the floor. And mark out for the front to back leg rails before cutting. Of course you could do all this on a table saw or with a band saw. And here I'm just chopping out the bridle joint at the top of the leg. Then glue the leg end assemblies together. And check for square. The bench top is layered like the legs, but due to its length, two pieces are needed in each layer. Top is glued up in three stages, flattening after each stage. As the bench top grows, leave a gap in the centre which becomes the tool well. The completed bench top can now be flattened, the ends trimmed, and a groove cut to join with the base. Now for some accessories. I'm starting with board jacks. They're made by attaching a hook to a board that then rides on the front rail. Holes get bored every three inches for a support stop. And the support stop is made from a piece of plywood with an offset hole for the peg made from a dowel. When installed in the board jack itself it can be rotated giving incremental stops at every inch. Two supports are a great help when clamping work to the front of the bench and are especially useful when clamping boards at angles. A planing stop is made from a length of hardwood mortised through the whole workbench and held in place with a wing nut. To help support narrow work, which would tip easily, we'll make an edge planing support. That gets notched at both ends one notch hooks to the planing stop while the wedge cut from the V-notch on the other end clamps the work in place. The tool well is made from plywood supported on thin hardwood strips. 
A second set of strips allows the base to rest flush to the surface of the bench. Holes in the bench are filled with plugs to tidy it up. A shoulder vise is made with hardwood from an old window frame. Threaded rods hold the assembly to the bench when it's required. Simple plywood discs, mortised to fit the end of the threaded rod, make excellent handles. A wide planing stop is made with a strip of hardwood and a flip stop on the rear of the bench. To prevent work from rotating, we'll make a notch support or doze foot from a pallet slat. When working diagonally or across the bench, the work rotates, but clamping the notch in position stops this completely. Now, here's a bench hook with a difference. This is going to be the stop, and it's going to need two hooks to locate both front and back on the bench, and a wood thread with flange nut. And here's a different way to make a handle for it. Sandpaper on the hooks will stop them from slipping along the bench. Glue and screw the hooks on. And then glue the stop in position, making sure it's nice and square. Once clamped, nothing's moving. It can also be used to back up a piece of wood against the planing support, for those of you who like to drag your plane back after each stroke. You can see here how the clamping mechanism works. Turn it around the other way and you can use it as a simple shooting board. For more detailed build videos, take a look at the playlist. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.